JBS, ladies, what what's a profession that a guy does that's a red flag to you? Not bad, actually. Ooh. What's a red flag job for you, ladies? We could start here and then work our way. Um, for a man. Which to have. which is the next? Is it yellow collar or is it blue collar jobs? Yellow, I, I yellow collar. Yellow. No, I, I, I forgot. Forgot. No, no. <laughs> I think John Wayne. I've been buying. I forgot what it's called. Blue basically... collar is is, is a, a more you know laborious type job, maybe a construction worker, or whatever, and then a white collar is office. Office. Well, I mean, depends on their age. Like, I mean, for example, my age, any job is. You know, will suffice. Blow jobs. But what's a but red what, flag job, what, though? What, what if you made, made more than him, though? What am I gonna? What are we gonna do about that? I mean, like getting a job can also be circumstantial. Like, there's a lot of factors that going in, like that go into a job. Your, your experience, how far you are, if you have reliable transportation. At least right now, it doesn't matter as long as you have a job. What yeah. about like McDonald's, CVS, porn star? I mean, what? porn what? star. <laughs> You never know <laughs> I don't know about porn star. Um, that's not something I would. So is that a red flag? Oh, wait, technically, aren't you a porn star too? Oh shit. To an extent, but the thing is, in my content, I just post myself. I've never want like I've gotten opportunities to shoot with other people. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't. I don't know if I am. Like I, I'm not against that idea, but I don't want to consider myself that. So what's but... one red flag job that if a guy had it, you'd be like, mm, you know, it'd make what, you go what age? Go, because it, it varies. It's it like varies. 25 years old. Oh. Well, then we can say lunch lady or something like that. <laughs> For a man? Uh, lunch nigga. Okay. <laughs> That's the first one. That's yeah. the first. All right. What about you? Red flag job. Um, I mean, you said 25. So at that point, I feel like if you still work in fast food or anything along those lines, I mean, it's kind of a red flag. Mm-hmm. Um, Because I feel like you should have pushed past that point and tried to do something else. He's trying, though. It's taking a little bit longer. Yeah, he's so any fast food, even Chick-fil-A. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Right. What if he's a manager at one of those spots? Ooh. But I'd be owner. <laughs> Even I feel like that doesn't suffice. Um, so he's per- making like 70K a year. Personally, for me, I want somebody that I could actually build a company with. There's nothing along those lines. So if you don't have that mentality and you can- don't have that drive, then I'm not going to talk to you. So you want an entrepreneur? Yeah. So it, 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 So even if they have a good job... Let's say they're a lawyer, but they're employed by a firm. I mean, yeah, that's like at that point, like that's fine. But like if you have the drive and the motivation and the work ethic, then like, yeah, I'm fine being with you. But if you don't, then for the most part, no. And I feel like people in the fast food space and things along those lines, some very small portion may have the drive and the motivation to try and get out of that situation. Well, let's say they're a regional manager making 100K a year. Then I mean. The office. Still. The mentality. (laughs) The office. I feel like Merch. that's very complacent. That's a very complacent person. singing that show. Do better, nigga. Do better. All right. So he's got to be an entrepreneur, basically, for you. Any, if he works for anybody, it's like. I mean, it's not even like working for anybody. It's like, personally, like myself, I work for somebody right now, but I'm a 1099. So, like, everything I do, I'm an independent contractor. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, fast food, anything else? All right. I mean. Okay, so fast food is the biggest red flag for you. Okay, regardless of income, it's fast food. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, what about you? Red flag job for you? Um, club promoter. Ah, see, that's a big one. Have you ever dated one? Uh, no, but I know some uh, two two guys that were actually supposedly in relationships and like they were not faithful. <laughs> it was not possible. Okay, and yeah. you saw them like have sex with another girl. Well, I know the stories, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and actually to add about the fast food manager, if you can be a manager at a fast food place, why would you not go maybe, you know, somewhere better? Why are you just staying in a Complacent. fast food? Like, yeah. Well, depending could... on the, the chain, you can make a lot of money as a manager. If you're like a di- an operations manager, a district manager, you could be making $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 a year. Their argument is... Go somewhere else with a better, I want to say, reputation. Yeah, reputation. That's, that's what they're saying, basically. So you guys are more concerned with the title over the income capacity. No, it's not even that. I feel like if you can make it to that level, then you should be able to push yourself to go outside of that, like what you're already doing. What if doing? their skill set is within dining? Then, I mean, you can go to a five-star restaurant and do something else. They don't pay as much. <laughs> um, To be fair... That is true. <laughs> okay, so they don't pay as much. So you guys are more. I mean, and that's fine. I'm just 
Okay, so some if you're questions region- here, so for you guys, it seems the title is more important than the income, which is fine. No, so if you're a regional manager at a Chick Fil A, yeah, it's and you would be only manager like somewhere else, like yes, stay at Chick Fil A. But like if if you compare the same position, regional manager at Chick Fil A, or you could be regional manager at Ritz Carlton, it doesn't exist regional manager there. But if you could be at a more reputable company like that, then why would you stay with a like a fast food? So title is important. Status. Interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for being honest. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you for being honest. You guys are confirming things that we've talked about on this podcast many times before. Don't worry. It's not bad. Well, I wouldn't not accept it, but I would still question it. Okay. What about you? Um, So I don't disagree with that, but also... What's a red flag job for you? If we're going with like the 25-year-old age range, not range, um, like anyone who's still like who's trying to get into like the film industry and like hasn't like really made it at that point okay be particular about film okay i was gonna say like either actors but like (laughs) all sides like directors anything like all the people you know who like went to film school and they're just like Okay. Trying, but not really. So anyone that's that's, that's in film Struggling. at twenty five years old is a red flag to you. Slightly, yeah. Okay, if they're not successful. Yeah. Okay. Anything yeah. else? Look at Morgan Freeman, man. Well, she the... said if they're not successful. Don't oh. Morgan Freeman. Right. Like what? You started late. You started at like like forty. Years you started late. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So film. All right. What about you? See, I was gonna say fast food, but then I started thinking, and then I was like. People who work in fast food, they're put in stressful situations. So it's like they're they're forced to work faster and harder. So I just know that like they, you know, they have potential and I'm not going to look past that. So what I am going to say is OnlyFans. If you're a man with OnlyFans Damn. or you're a, a male porn star, I will not be looking your way. That's a red flag for me. That's I'm curious. Why do you say that? Because I've heard that before. But why? I just think it's like weird how is it weird just like how when, i'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna bash everybody i don't like yeah, only fans i don't like anybody that has an only fans i'm gonna say that okay. directly oh, she I, like I respect you, you as a yeah. person she i like respect you. you as a person it is what it is. but i just don't don't fuck you don't with that only fans shit. Okay. hold on you gonna take that from her what am i gonna do about it it's not a very at I the end of the day that. it's not the best profession to do it kind of stop money <laughs> But yeah, money. Fresh money, man. It's, it's, you know, but, what, but now she don't like you. Oh, but you're never going to be liked by everybody at the end of the day. What am I going to do about that? She seems like a respectful, educated young lady. What am I going to do about the fact that she doesn't like OnlyFans? Stop. To, to some degree, I don't like it either, but it's helping me. Stop. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's talk to shit. <laughs> All right, this is before. All right. 